Eagles tournament time and I got my bull shine. I gotta go, 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 go. Get exposed, post, post, post. Get the boat, man. It's time to go. What is going on, YouTube family? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV, and we're here with some jigs. You guys have been wanting this. You've been leaving comments. You left comments on the first video, so jigs it is, guys. We got tons of jigs. We got hair jigs, swim jigs, football jigs, archaea jigs, all the jigs that you guys can think of. I'm right here. We have four boxes full. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with the swim jigs. I'm going to pretty much go through um, where I throw these jigs, how I work them, what setup I use them on, etc. Um, jumping into the swim jigs, these are by Swarm and Hornet Lures, all the swim jigs that I own. Um, here's a few colors that I'll throw up on the screen. Um, just a little green pumpkin one right there. There's a little bluegill pattern. And all, all these play a role. And as you, as you can tell, this one has a weed guard and this one doesn't. Um, so you're throwing it more in grass and stuff and you don't want to get too much hung on the end. Um, you would throw this one with the weed guard. And this one, I don't have a weed guard. Um, simple, simple different things like that can make a big difference. Um, Right here, here's a little lighter colored one. See the water's a little stained and you want to throw one that's a little lighter. Um, that one's white, chartreuse, with a little bit of gray in it. It's also got a little white weed guard. Um, here's another bluegill looking one. Pretty neat. I enjoyed throwing swim jigs like like you guys know, um, chowder baits, love chowder baits, so swim jigs I really like as well. Um, there's a black and blue one. Really good in that dirty water. Really nice swim jig. That's all the swim jigs right there. Um, and where would I fish those? Mostly grass, mostly up shallow. I'm not going to go out deep in 30 to 40 foot through a swim jig. Um, if I was going out there, I would throw a regular just arc style head or um, a football jig, depending on what kind of structure I'm fishing. It all varies. Um, hair jigs. I don't have too many of these. I actually make these. I don't have them on the market yet, but if you guys are wanting them, um, message me. Kicking their bass baits, hair jigs. I know you guys are thinking, man, that's a funky looking bait. What kind of thing is that? Um, if you haven't thrown a hair jig, I would really recommend it. People people overlook this stuff, and um, they're saying, oh, that's mostly for striper. Um, like, we've thrown them over brush piles, and everything's ripping them catching good fish and my friends ask me what are you catching the fish on I'm like I'm catching them on a hair jig and they're like oh you're lying to me throwing a hair jig over a brush pile that's crazy heck man go try it I want to sit here and lie to you that's um that's a great bait right there if you haven't ever thrown a hair jig and probably search some videos up on it um jumping into the other box I got some regular Archie Archie style heads um these are ch all Chattahoochee jigs um as you guys know that's my sponsor really great jigs um comes in all sizes and colors we have plenty of jigs by then that's a little football football head um these are actually a little custom color that i got made for me a while back ago um before i was sponsored by chattahoochee there's another chattahoochee in brown and um this one has the living rubber on it and why do i like the living rubber um say the fish can't see the bait too much um, I really like the living rubber. If you haven't seen the living rubber um, in water, what it pretty much does is say you have you have a regular jig right here um, and it's just this regular stringy skirt and you'll have it and it just kind of lay there. The living rubber at, it's more thick um, and as you can tell it's kind of floating out. Um, when it goes in the water it's going to be floating. It's going to be floating up so it's more live like. Um, it gives a more of a bulky profile and um, you'll catch bigger fish. And I mean, just the simplest things. It may sound stupid, but the simplest things can make a difference, guys. Um, got some red ones right here, and you guys are thinking a red jig. I can tell you one thing. Two years ago, I want to say it was two years ago, uh, maybe a year and a half ago, we were killing them on Lanier on this color right here. I mean, absolutely just killing them. That's another Chattahoochee jig. It's really great. Here we go. We got one with a rattle on it right here. Um, looks like a jig with a jet pack on it. Little rattle. Why, why would I use rattles? Um, fish can be 
really finicky sometimes, so you might not want to use rattles. And I know you're probably saying I'm crazy, but this, like I said, the simplest things can set the fish off. Um, say you're in really dirty water and you want a little bit of vibration. Um, yes, the fish can feel that. Um, you want a little bit of vibration. Um, use the rattles, and it can make a big difference, guys. It's it's crazy. I mean, you could just not be catching fish. Um, throw a rattle on it and just be catching them. It's amazing. Here's some more living rubber jigs right here. Much more stringy. Really nice style. Um, right here, got some football head jigs, trailer green pumpkin ones. We use those a lot when we're at Douglas. Um, that's m for the most reason, that's why I use these. Um, when we're at Douglas, we're at Kentucky Lake for Nationals, we're using those. And right here, here's a f football head. Um, and you're probably asking, why, why did I cut the weed guard off? And for the reason of that is we were on Kentucky Lake. There wasn't too much structure. We were just fishing humps, and we were fishing those big mega schools. Um, and if we saw some fish staged on the bottom, we would throw this. There wasn't too much structure that we were fishing, so we, we didn't have to worry about um, getting it stuck in a brush pile or anything like that. So it was completely safe to cut off, um, and your hookup ratio would be much better. So just a little tip like that. But if you're fishing brush, I would recommend a weed guard. But what you can do on most of these jigs is um, you can stretch out the weed guard so it's not over. It's not too thick for the hook. This one's on a little thin anyways but as you can tell I kind of stretch it out so to go over the hook easier that's another little quick tip um, if you want your hookup ratio to be better so let's jump on to this box right here some sharp hooks on the Chattahoochee jigs <laughs> um, these are football style heads and we're and I use these like I said at Douglas Lake and at Kentucky Lake. We're fishing really out deep, and we're fishing rock. For the most part at Douglas Lake, we were fishing rock, and we would throw out there. We would drag our jigs, and we would fill that rock. And that's when this football head came into play really well. Um, football head's really good for rock if you guys didn't know, and um, it doesn't get stuck as much. Um, as you guys know, I advertise my wobble head a lot. I catch a lot of fish on it. Been fishing it the past couple of tournaments, just been whacking them on it. And um, I can rarely get that thing stuck. If I get it stuck, I can hop it off right away. I usually don't have to go um, around and pull it, say it's stuck on a rock or a tree. It usually comes off for the most part. Um, but here's some football heads. This one's just regular green pumpkin. has a little bit of brighter green in it. As you can tell, we trim the skirt a little bit so it'll stick up, um, give it a little bigger profile. That's a really heavy jig right there. Like I said, for Douglas and Kentucky Lake, when you're fishing those deep humps, I'm fishing for those big mega schools. And everything. There's a little lighter green color right there. Football head. Really great looking jig. Here's some of those custom ones I was talking about. Um, right here. That we got a while back ago. That was for Kentucky Lake. Just a little custom color we liked and we did pretty good. Um, pretty well on. Just a little bit of brown, a little bit of green, a little bit of everything, really. That worked really well. Here's another lighter green. Um, it's kind of got like a watermelon candy-ish type look to it. It's got the little purple flakes. And um, as you can tell on that one, we cut the weed guard off as well. I'm guessing we're using that one at Kentucky Lake. Um, I believe we cut, cut a few off at Douglas as well. Here's a darker green. And these all play a different role, guys. Um, just depending on what, what the fish are wanting, what the fish are feeding on. Um, one day they may be feeding better on this dark green color. But one day they may be feeding on this one. It's more of the green pumpkin color. Um, just all varies on day, all varies on time of year. Um, really makes a big difference. So right here I have one, and this is one of the trailers I use. Just one, one of those little twin tail grubs. That's by Gary Yamamoto. Um, those work really well. They have a lot of action. I also like the Chattahoochee jig. I have a couple over here, um, trailers, and those are hand poured. Really great 
looking trailers really really soft and it's, and they're pretty tough as well so it's not as you can tell I mean I'm pulling on that pretty hard it's not um, breaking or anything so um, hand poured really soft plastic those are great on those as well just depending on the profile if you're wanting more of a crawl like look um, with a little less action or if you're wanting something with a lot of action I really like the rage crawl as you guys know I put that on my wobble head a lot has a lot of action with those legs just kicking around um, that's really good as well um, and that's it for the football heads and here's a few um, these are the light wire hooks this is by Chattahoochee Jigs um, light wire hook jigs and you can skip these really well under docks um, the heads shaped a little bit different on these and this is green pumpkin with a little bit of blue on it um, same with that one it has the light wire hook so it's a much thinner hook but it's still very strong I have one more box and this is just pretty much full of just regular jigs not technically big jigs or anything I'm just regular archy heads um, that's living rubber right there There's a bunch of old ones that we use on the here. As you can tell right there, and we're fishing some rock. I wasn't using a football head there on the near. Mostly I don't use a football head. Here's a really good example of a living rubber one. This one's actually got a wide gap hook as well. That one's really, really, that's the crazy living rubber. As you can tell, it's already sticking out out of water. When that thing goes in water, I mean, look at the, pro I mean, it just makes the profile look so big. If you put a big old rage crawl on that, that'll look really well. Have a really big profile. So yeah, guys, that's all my jigs. Um, so let's go ahead and break it down. So football head jigs, I would fish on rock. Um, rock for the most part, and I would fish it out deep. Fish it out on those deep humps, ledges. Um, that's, just, that's just personal preference. And pretty much what it's used for is on rock and on deep humps and stuff. And then the Archie style heads. Um, you can use for skipping under docks. You can also use like the um, ones with the light wire hooks for skipping under docks. The head shape different. I can tell you if you get a football jig, it's going to be much harder to skip under a dock than just a regular style jig. Um, swim jigs, you're going to be fishing up shallow. You're going to be fishing in grass, lily pads, stuff like that. Not even that. You can um, run it next to a dock. Um, you can run it up shallow. You can run it by some rock up shallow. As long as it's up shallow, I'm not going to go in 40 foot of water and cast a swim jig out. Um, hair jigs. I like fishing over brush, um, and it tastes like a bait fish for the most part. I don't work it on the bottom. Um, maybe I can make a video for you guys on how I work it. And if you guys are interested in those, message me. I can get some out to you. And if you're um, interested in any Chattahoochee jigs, you can message me, and I can get some out to you. So, um, for the rod and reel combo for my jig, it's mostly it's mostly the same for the football head jig, Arky style. Um, swim jig is going to be a little bit different. Um, but for just a standard old jig, it's, it is a heavy power rod. And why do I use a heavy power? Most of the time you're fishing out deep um, when you're fishing a jig. And you want to penetrate that hook into the fish. Even if you're fishing shallow, guys. I was at Douglas. We were pre-fishing. And I had a medium heavy power rod. I was fishing a big football head jig. We weren't fishing too deep. We were fishing about fi uh, 10, 15 foot. But I hooked into about an 8.5 pounder. Um got it close to the boat and it just jumped off and that that hurts guys and so ever since then I, I've been throwing a and this is a 7.4 heavy um, Legend Extreme by St. Croix Rods this is the only rod I've been throwing um, all my jigs on it's ever since that happened and it's on a Revo MGX um, as you guys know that's my favorite reel and rod combo um, the line is 15 pound Berkeley Gold Label um, that's what I mostly use on most of my jigs if I'm like flipping and stuff I may use a little heavier like 17 20 pound um, but for the most part 15 pounds is good enough for me for what how i'm fishing i'm um, like on the near and stuff um so that's the setup and for the football head jig like i said it's going to be the same setup on the heavy power rod um swim jig i like to be a little more accurate with my cast and i don't want the super stiff rod so i use like a medium a medium heavy would be fine um you don't want to go too light on it you don't want to go on like a medium but a medium heavy would be good if you're wanting to just cast around docks, cast around up shallow, cast around grass. Um, same like with the Chatterbait, I would use a medium heavy. I want to use a heavy power rod. So that's the combo I use for my jigs. Um, I hope you guys found this video really informative. If you have any more questions about jigs, um, hair jigs, swim jigs, football head jigs, regular style jigs, um, 
feel free to ask. I also have a couple swim jigs over here. Forgot to show you guys. Um, these are just some more Swarm and Hornet lures ones, and that's with the Reaction Innovations. Little dipper on it. Um, and watermelon. This one has got a little Ber Berkeley crawl on it. It's really great as well. Um, really like fishing swim jigs. Um, I love fishing that type of style. Swim jigs, charter bait, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, guys, that's um, all the tips I have for today um, over all my jigs. All kinds of jigs. Hair jigs, football jigs, Argus style head jigs, um, swim jigs, all my jigs. Rod and reel combo. If you have any more questions, and if you guys are, if that's a little bit out of your price range, you can always go for um, regular Revo SX, which is around 150 bucks. You can get yourself a Mojo Bass rod by Synchroys. Um, you can get it in a heavy power or medium heavy, whatever um, style you're wanting for whichever bait for a jig, medium or medium heavy, or medium heavy or heavy, um, and that's around 100 bucks. So that's really affordable. Um, for most of you guys out there so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know below what you guys want to see next week for next week's tackle tuesdays and i'll try to get that video out to you guys also if you haven't checked out the vlog from lake ufala um it's up today is monday um i'm posting this you guys are seeing this on tuesday for tackle tuesday um but sunday post the vlog part one and part two um you might get a good laugh out of that. You might want to go watch that. I'll throw the links at the end of this video. Also, we're going down to Lake Eufaula, um the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. We're going to be fishing, pre-fishing the 22nd and 23rd, and our tournament is Sunday the 24th. And we're going to be out of school then. And um, I'm also going to be uploading a lot of videos. So I'll be vlogging that whole tournament and everything. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And um, stay tuned for this Friday for the recap um, from Lake Eufaula and what we were doing to catch those fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching.